Right, so this is your activations for your back and shoulders, um, intermediate version. So please make sure that you are performing the beginner version quite comfortably before you start moving on to this kind of activation. So we have four exercises. They're very simple, but again, um, when you have been through the beginner version, you have a bit more understanding and awareness of what you should be feeling. All right, so we're going to start with the first exercise, which is going to be supine lying open the book circle. So lying down, what you can do is use a prop in between your legs and your thighs. You can easily prop a foam roller or a, a block to keep your legs together. It's quite important to keep the legs together. Opening here and you take yourself to the side where the legs are. Try and bring the legs a little bit higher than your hips. And we're going to make big circles opening through the chest. And we're going to take it all the way back. So you actively just keep moving around. Up. Follow that hand. And the aim is to keep the legs together. So keep squeezing. And you can also reverse your circle. It's up to you to feel what you need to do. Ah, very nice. So this is your open book. I'm just going to show you what it looks like from this side. I'm just lying, bringing the knees close to the chest, keeping my thighs together and my legs together. Oh, and I'm open. This is very good. I just kind of like felt the need to rebalance on the other side. <laughs> and bring it back. Make sure you always take that chest again back in before you take it out again, yeah? So it's not just the arm moving, it's your entire upper body. So because we're trying to activate, um, mobilize your spine here. The second exercise are prone shoulder cars. Um, so you are going to lie on your front. Again. And you try and keep your pelvis tucked in, yeah? So like the pelvis is still neutral. Um, we come and lift a little bit the rib cage, and then here we start with the hands forward. You can see my thumbs are up, and I'm lifting my arm, and then I am slowly taking myself back. And once you're here, you reverse your thumb. So you turn the thumb in, and then you take it back out and bring it back in okay so because it's a controlled articulative rotation we want to feel the rest of the body really grounded really anchored and everything else is quite active so i'm actively pushing through the left hand as i lift my right i'm squeezing into my hand to activate my nervous system i create that beautiful rotation and then i bring it back out yes this is to warm up your shoulders Really focus on getting deep into your joint and keeping the rest of the body completely still. All right. Once we're here, we move on to the next one, which is a back extension. You can start nice and easy here and just lifting your chest, trying to engage into the, the shoulder muscles. Yes, you can also go without your hands just try and really not overload into the lower back right away engage through the shoulders use the shoulders to pull pull yourself up and the core to lift yes trying to keep the legs and the feet there okay remember this is activation so keep pulling the elbows towards your hips and obviously if we try a little bit harder we take the hands forward and we activate through the shoulders as well at the same time. And you can also use the legs eventually. But we're trying to avoid working too much through the lower back here. And your last exercise are going to be spinal waves. So we start the easy version here is to start into like a downward facing dog or pike. And then we are going to tuck the tailbone under, articulate the spine into a nice and high plank. And then again, lead through your tailbone. Push the ground away, keep the shoulder blades away from the ears. And then tuck that tailbone, that chin in again, high plank. And then tuck the tailbone away. Articulate here. 
Okay, so it's like cat cow, but with movement. So you take a nice deep inhale here, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You can see I'm segmenting each part of my spine as well. So like quite important to feel like cat cow. That we are articulating the spike into waves. Good. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.